I personally believe that the best indie game of 2023 is a fishing simulation? Possibly. I suppose we'll find out. This is Dave the Diver, which is a, a casual single-player adventure RPG with deep-sea exploration during the day and sushi restaurant management at night. Uh, apparently the, the exploration is a little roguelike-y in nature with some bosses and uh, interesting combat and things like that. Uh, paired with then a management game where we are, you know, managing a restaurant and making sushi and managing people and dialogue. It's my kind of game. We're, we're gonna check it out and see what's going on here in Dave the Diver and see what uh, what is to be about a game that is being absolutely uh, considered the, the indie game of, of 2023. It's got overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam, uh, over 21,000 of them. <laughs> so a lot of people really, really loving uh, what's going on with, with Dave the Diver. I don't necessarily love the close-up of this guy's feet in this uh, miniature cinematic cutscene. But you know what? Uh, some people are probably into it, so that's fair. Is that Hulk Hogan calling us? Okay, hello, Dave. I'm assuming that's Dave on the right as a diver. Uh, and then Hulk Hogan, our manager, wanting to create a sushi restaurant of some kind. Difficult to really put into words the the plot of this without any dialogue at the current moment in time. But that, look, that is completely fine. Dave the Diver. All right. It's <laughs> the name of the game. We're here and ready to go. Drinking some root beer. Directed by uh, this guy. Whose name I'm not going to attempt to pronounce. I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip. Okay? Look, uh, as much as I would love to watch the credits roll to start the video, uh, maximum engagement on the YouTube video gotta be here at the, the start of the video. Oh, Dave, you got here quickly. Okay, this is Cobra. Insane name, dude. Oh, uh, Dave and the diver suit's fantastic. I was told to hurry here. I was on vacation, you know? Where'd the sushi at? Don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Look at this giant blue hole. I've never <laughs> seen anything like it. Excuse me? Not just the size. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes, which means it's a roguelike. This could be an incredible business opportunity. Okay, good, close enough. What kind of business? We can discuss that later. Heard you took a break from diving. How about warming up? I'll guide you from here. Go ahead and go in. Okay. Prologue. A sushi bar by the blue hole. Try moving with Wazda. Okay. Very good, dude. He's he's the greatest little, uh, the greatest little chicken legs going crazy. All right, let's dive. He's going in. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm here for it. A black spotted sea bream. Dude, look at how beautiful this is, though. Really, really love the the graphics and animation here. Nice form, ha ha ha. How about try stretching out a bit? Move, try moving to the marked area. With left shift, I can move quickly. Okay, but that will deplete my oxygen. Okay, it depletes your oxygen pretty freaking fast, to be honest. Looks like your skills are intact. Your moves are as nimble as a freshwater snail. Let's now practice using the knife you'll need in contingencies, the dive knife. Not to be confused with the poop knife, very different. Try using the survival knife on small fish. You can use the click key. Okay, so small fish. Oh jeez, dude, okay. How, how do I, well done, smooth and quick. I didn't kill a single one though. Finally, you haven't forgotten how to use the harpoon. I haven't used it in a long time. Do you aim first? Looks like you'll need some practice. Try using the harpoon to catch three fish. Aim with the left click, fire with the, the right. All right. He, he's aiming. You know what? Dory's going to get it. Okay. Dory's got to be a little bit closer. All right. <laughs> it's just brutal, dude. Absolutely brutal. All right. Good. Can we, by any chance, get a little little two banger? Nope. Okay. Got to gotta, gotta get used to get used to our uh, harpoon here can we little little Ooh, i thought i was gonna nail both of them but i definitely didn't the pyramid butterfly fish okay get snagged that's three different fish too he's crazy i think that should get you back in track in no time all right come up to the boat i am running out of oxygen so that's good okay dude i'm, I'm ready put put me in coach i'm ready to play now that you got the hang of it let's get down to business dave you love sushi right for sure, soft fish meat with oily rice. Oh man, just the best. 
Listen up, I got a friend who's a sushi chef. Left the business for a while. He's got a sharp tongue and a slight temper. But he has one skill I can guarantee is unmatched. Right here that I started a restaurant with my friend that the, sells the... This sentence just broke in my brain. That's fine. The sushi sold here is made from fresh fish caught in the blue hole. Where fish from all over the world can be found. Don't you think people will just go nuts for it? I'm already craving it. Dude, you gotta get this animation and then like my face in the... <laughs> where, where his face is. If I had my webcam set up, I'd do it right now. Maybe I'll edit it in, in post. Haha, <laughs> I bet so. Why don't you join on this awesome venture? I love eating, but I don't know a thing about cooking. The restaurant's all ready. All I do is dive. Yeah, dude, I'm I'm in. If I hit the client, I feel like it probably just alt f is the window. Um, I can eat as much sushi as I want, but you gotta pay. Can't wait to check it out. It's right next to the blue hole. Is that literally the restaurant over on the right? Supposed to open tonight, but not sure it's ready. Let's have a chat at the restaurant. Okay, press the, the arrow to go to the sushi bar. All right, I'm ready. Fantastic. And then the boat just, just goes away. Dude, it's it's amazing how they, they balance the pixel art animations with, like, high-res animations. There's, like, three different art styles going on in the game, and it's it's really well done. Hey, Boncho, we ready to open? As you can see, it's ready just in time. Dude, Boncho will kill a man for fish. <laughs> it's already finished? You? You're the fisherman Cobra was talking about. More of a diver. Okay, nice to meet you. I'm Boncho. You like sushi? Sure do. Tuna belly, eel, sea urchin. Just thinking about it makes my mouth water. Just as mediocre as expected. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of sea and land. Oh my lord, Boncho. <laughs> okay. Most people, however, have only tasted more accessible fish like you. How empty a life is one that ends without ever tasting the beauty Mother Nature can offer for exclamation points. Okay, Boncho, let's let's chill a little bit, brother. Your entire restaurant's going uh, down in the pits right now, so let's not get too crazy about your uh, your sushi preferences. The place is a mess. <laughs> An earthquake. The interior is really a mess. Looks like we'll have to delay the opening. That was pretty quick to say, Dave. You know what? I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I'll have to recover the repair cost. In this state, the economy is horrible these days in Dave the Diver Land. In the end, the importance of a restaurant is the taste. First, we need ingredients. Did you bring any? I have some I just caught. Three fish. That won't be nearly enough to serve. Go catch seven more, okay? Gonna only be open in the evening. Won't that decrease sales? Okay, I mean, that's fair. Chef's dude, uh, shut up, Boncho. <laughs> this guy, uh, he's gonna drive me insane. Give me the best quality ingredients during the day. All right, I have a feeling we should probably like, I don't know, fix the entire restaurant before we open it, but that's fine. I'll just go catch fish. What do I know about restaurant management? Seems Boncho's really passionate about his work. May not talk about personal stuff, but the guy could talk about sushi all night. Haven't seen Boncho so enthusiastic since the incident. The incident? Maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. Okay, we're, we're gonna learn about Boncho's uh, sundry past in the, the future. Okay, so repair Boncho sushi, uh, make 100 gold, and then prepare sushi ingredients. I gotta catch some fish. Dude, the only thing this game needs, and it might have it, what do I know, is we need to be able to like grow our own cucumbers around the, the restaurant. That would be amazing. A little farming sim in here as well. All right, let's 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 explore. Uh, seems that we're definitely going to get like upgrades as well. Cause you can see down here, like there's, there's stuff that I do not even have access to. My harpooning skills, real bad. Are jellyfish like edible in sushi? Oh, you don't, you don't like that, huh? Seems that I'm doing damage to you, but okay. You know what? I'll, I'll explore a little. See what's going on. That's an urchin for sure. And and my dude love... Excuse me? My dude... Excuse me? Can I just pick it up? Purple sea urchin. Okay. Ah, it hurts. I don't think sea urchins can be picked up with these gloves. This is some trash. You're already gatekeeping my, my progression. All right, what's going on here? That's that's oxygen. That's wood, to be fair. Okay. Um, And some, some oxygen. Just gonna suck that guy up real nice and quick there's also a fish like right here can can i just little little stab on you i think that fish is in the the background and thus cannot be cannot be snagged give me the wood again so i'm getting weighed down as we go 
Uh, which is good to know. But let's take that fish real quick. Oh, what the? I, I, ah, I didn't realize that I had, had to do quick time event minigames. Okay, I'm ready. There we go. Okay, gotta gotta get a little spammy with the space bar. Let, let's grab an. Oh, you, I missed. <laughs> well, I'm bad. He's he's terrible. What the heck, dude? These fish are made of steel. <laughs> I'm I'm in shock. Okay, come come here, Dory. All right, grab you as well. I'm ready. Wait, dude, we're we're snagging fish like crazy. He's he's nuts. I missed. I'm I'm bad. What about you guys? Yeah, okay. Th these weird jellyfish type things. Oh, you're... This this fish is not prepared, man. He's, uh, stay out of the way. Send it. You know, it wasn't the fish that I wanted, but I, I'm happy nonetheless. This fish has duped himself. Ooh, he's bad. I'm so horrible. And I'm getting hit by stuff. I'm, I'm dying. Okay. I'm, I'm here. Spam, spam the space bar, man. Holy lordy, it requires some some heat from me. Okay. We, we got it on lock now. Some yellow back fusilier. Fu the, the greatest fish of all time. I have caught seven fish, by the way. But my oxygen's still fine. Dude, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get a, a couple more, right? Just a couple. I'm not gonna get too crazy. We're, we're getting pretty down there in terms of our, our depth right now. And I have a feeling that, uh, I'm not supposed to go this deep, although I did just find a crock pot down here, so that seems like a positive. <laughs> All right. Oh, what the heck are you? Oh, uh, get snagged, brother? No. No, 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 no. Get, get snagged. Olive oil? Okay, brother, I don't know about the, the ocean olive oil. I, I feel like we, we probably could just pick some up at Whole Foods or something like that, and that would be a, a better use of our time. All right, we got a red lionfish. I am running out of air. Um... Uh, this is gonna be tight. Dude, did I kill Dave on day one? Because that's gonna that's gonna be tough to explain to Boncho, I'm gonna be honest. Nah, just kidding, we're fine. <laughs> Alright, return to the boat. This is good. We, we got some salty olive oil for you. Could go well with the fish, to be fair. Alright, looks like you caught quite a few. At this rate, we'll make boatloads of money. My, my, look at the time. Hurry up and get things ready. Why don't you head to the sushi bar? Alright, I'm ready. Dude, I can, I can play this for a very long time. I'm gonna warn you already. Um, okay, so to the fish tank, I got I got a couple, uh, I got, I got some stuff, okay? I got some stuff. Th these lionfish were rank two, which is exciting. Seems that the yellowbacks provide us with a good chunk of meat as well. The blue tangs as well. These other two are just kind of booty, to be honest. But we did get some olive oil, which is very exciting. Wrap up your day and get things ready at, at Bancho Sushi. Okay. You'll only be able to dive once in the morning, once in the afternoon. Okay. I I will I will head back to the sushi restaurant. Excited to see that there may be other places I can go as well. Um, seems like that would be kind of fun. How the preparation's coming around? I think we're mostly set. That's good. Here's to a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? You're gonna help me run the sushi bar. What the heck? I don't understand. Cobra told me there would be somebody to help with the ingredients and serving. He said all I needed to do was cook. And who else is there for that but you? Alright, dude, it is easy to work at a restaurant, man. Quick primer. Open the ingredients below. Okay? The management menu. I'm, I'm here for it. Here you can check your fish, crops, sauces, and all the other materials you have. If they're considering olive oil a sauce, I'm gonna have to have a hearty conversation in the next, uh, next dive down that we do. For now, that's all you need to know. Come back later for more. Okay, I'll, I'll close the menu. <laughs> Let's show you how to register actual items on the menu. Okay, here's our menu. Very exciting. New recipes can be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. Sushi recipe for the fish you acquired earlier? Let's try registering it. Dude, what if green tea was just the olive oil from the ocean with a bit of green food coloring? <laughs> that would be... I wish that a game would let me do something like that. Okay, we, we got a ton of blue tang sushi. So I'd like to add that to the menu, okay? And we'll, we'll put eight on. All right, that probably wasn't that hard. Setting ingredients to auto supply will make things a bit more convenient. Let me repeat, only food on the menu can be sold. If you run out of ingredients, you'll have to replace items on the menu. Enhance the flavor of dishes. Okay. Use the ingredients you caught to fill out the menu as much as you can. 
Um, okay, so let's let's put these on here as well. We don't have the ability to enhance yet because I don't have anything to enhance on them. Um, and then we can auto supply these because I mean, l let's be real. We're probably going to run these two quite a lot, right? And then the lionfish. So people freaking love the lionfish, man. But we don't have a lot of the lionfish. And they, they tried to kill me underground, so I feel like that's that's not the best either. Let, let's do these sea goldies, okay? And I think that it, it realistically we'll want to auto-supply those. The lionfish, I'm a little I'm a little more scared about that. How long are you gonna stand there talking? Give me a cup of green tea. Have you perhaps poured green tea before? <laughs> Only soft drinks? I'll show you how. Okay. Pour Cobra a green tea. Pour the right amount. Oh, frick, dude. It's cooking mama. I'm not... I don't want to jump the gun and say that it's the greatest game of all time. Um, but it, it is pretty freaking good already. Customers who drank green tea of a good or higher grade will pay more. As expected, Boncho's green tea is quite something. That tea really got my appetite going. <laughs> Okay, let's try serving him some, some, some food. Okay. Wait until the cooking is done. Ah, he's, he, dude, he's freaking going crazy over there. All right. Come over to where I am, take the food. I can do that. Okay. You can dash while serving food. Use left shift to move quickly. Okay. <laughs> Amazing, dude. Amazing. All right. Hello. You sent the package last week, you say? What in the world? Let me check on that. Dude, Dave's face right now. Cobra didn't even eat. He's always distracted. The food can't be reused. We'll have to throw it out. Seems like a waste to throw it away. We'd never reuse food. Okay. Hold Q to discard. That's so sad, dude. Just just eat the sushi yourself, Dave. Everything looks about ready. I haven't cooked for customers in a while. Kind of nervous. Don't forget to press E after filling, filing, filling, filling the menu for business to begin. Okay. Customers will order from the menu. Don't forget to register the dishes. Open up, baby. I mean, check the menu real quick. Looks good to me. Open up. Let's let's see what happens. I'm I'm scared already. We're we're open and we're good to go. Okay. Oh, dude, these people are gonna be like, hey, why is your place completely burnt to the ground from the earthquake and the, the fire apparently now? Oh, frick, dude, he's bad. Nope, he's perfect. He's actually the best to ever. Do it. Um. All right. There's this, you're looking for this. Get 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 the beautiful tip. This place seems different. Yeah, it's the earthquake. Not sure you you've heard about the earthquake. Um, look, you were here first. So you you get the, the juice first. Dude, Bancho's an animal. I uh, he's absolutely insane. Okay. We're we're getting tips left, right, and center right now. There you go. Dude, there's something about just a, a good management sim. Uh what is this? Oh, he's cleaning? He, 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 he do be cleaning for sure. Okay. This guy needs his food. He's been waiting for a while. I'm salivating. You just got here, okay? Restaurants don't uh, serve food immediately. If you go to a restaurant that serves you food immediately, it's a red flag because that means that they have already had the food like sitting in the microwave on the back end. Okay. Everything's going fine, to be honest with you. And the people are freaking loving it. Um, I will say that it looks like we have negative 56 profits today, which that part is uh, really less than ideal, but I'm not making a livable wage at Dave the Diver right now. I also do want to quickly say that uh, currently our sign says at Dinklo, which <laughs> is not, is, we, we want to get that one fixed like immediately, man. At Dinklo is not going to work. Okay, Pancho Sushi closed for the day. I mean, it's our best profits of all time, uh, probably because it's our first profits of all time. But it does make me look good. Five star rating for the day. I've earned some artisan flame. I don't beats the hell out of me what that is, but I'm excited to find out. All right, <laughs> at Dinklo. Few works finally done for the day. My back and legs hurt. You were a bit clumsy, but not bad. Try harder next time. Bancho, I'm going to throw you in the ocean. Suppose coming from you, that's a compliment. A man should not feel gratification from simple compliments. Oh no, he's anti-based as well. Yeah, yeah, all right. In any case, toast to the opening of Bancho Sushi. All the sake or whatever we had above the counter is spilled, but 
Oh no, it's the PP Express, man. The PP Express just crashed. What are we? We're never gonna get our stuff back, man. Oh, what the frick? The Kraken's here. All right. This seems unfortunate, honestly. I have a feeling this was probably what we needed to fix the... Oh, all this stuff's gonna go into the blue hole and then I'm gonna be able to get it all. And we're gonna pretend that water damage doesn't exist. I, I, I understand. I understand. Okay. Sounds good. Time to get some more... Uh, some more... Oh, Ellie's calling me? Pick up. Are you the man who's been diving around here? Uh, chat, don't get horny for Ellie. I can already tell some of you are. Yeah, I think so. I was expecting a more professional looking guy. Dude, they just crap on Dave all day long. Can you do something for me? I'm Ellie, study biology at the local graduate school. Come to out to investigate after reports of anomalies. Satisfied? <laughs> Jesus criminy. These people are all garbage people, except for Dave. And even, we don't really know his, his story at all. I'd like to study the ecology of this blue hole. Give me some agar and red starfish. Isn't agar like a substitute? No, it's a substitute for... It's a substitute for gelatin? Ag agar agar? Is this the same kind of agar? Is that what agar agar is made from? Is agar? It seems logical. Okay, give me two of each. Your tone makes me want to refuse. I've got a reward. All right. Please hurry, don't dally. I gotta find some red ecological data, and I now have a smartphone. Probably found that under the water, too. Check your phone to access various types of content. Dude, can I play Marvel Snap inside of uh, Dave the Diver? Probably not, to be fair. Um, okay, my phone. I can access... I mean, dude, there's a lot of apps on this phone. We can change the music. Dude, it's lit. He's got his own Spotify. All right. <laughs> How about the weather? What do we got? Gonna be sunny? Gonna be sunny? Ooh, a little rainy uh, in two days. Got a calculator? What the heck, man? You, you just immediately... <laughs> immediately put one of those in. Mini games? I got no games to play. Never mind. Gotta, gotta download stuff from the Apple Store first. I'm wasting, like, my entire morning before diving. Alright. Um, let's dive. We gotta collect... We're going bluefish. The weird yellowfish. Um, fried egg jellyfish. Ooh, you know what? Maybe we can get those. I didn't think we could. Oh, both of my fish that I need are right here, man. Fantastic. Come come over here. Yep, immediately, like, a really, really bad play by me to, to just scare them away. But the, these yellow back boys, they they are... They're, they're the lifeblood of Bancho Sushi right now. So just keep them coming. Uh, I do see another crock pot. And also, ooh, you're a big, big boy over there. Could maybe get a, a big boy figured out. He's going to want to kill me, but that's okay. What do you got in here? Oh, what the frick? There's an eel right there. I didn't even see you. All right. um, Grab, grab, grab it. We got some soy sauce. Very important for a, a sushi restaurant. Just going to tell you right now. Ah, oh, the mother load. They're all right here, man. I do wish, I, I guarantee that, that there there is an upgrade for us um, being able to, oh, oh, hey, these are the, the things that I need. Get get some samples, brother. That That's some agar. Ooh, it's a starfish as well. We got it all figured out. I can't pick up that yet, though, so we'll, we'll get there in the end. Got anything going on down here? Got, got something here. Picking up, picking up some ore, copper ore, okay. Don't really think that you can just like chip ore off with a knife, but you know what? Uh, hyper realism is not important in video games. All right. Should I should I try to kill this thing? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It it, it don't like being caught though. That's gonna require a, a hefty chunk of time for me to get that going. What is this? The long distance underwater scooter? Yo, what the heck? Uh, the most important thing I've ever found in a video game, for sure. How do I use it, though? And can I, can I kill this thing? I'm assuming that my, my harpoon is, is probably, I, I almost missed that guy. I have a feeling my harpoon is probably, like, not good enough to, to get this guy. Can I just get close to you and, and do, do some smacking? This, this fish has no care in the world. But this thing is feeding the restaurant for like a week if we get it. So I'm just going to follow him. Yeah, he's dying. All right. 
Oh, he, he, he butchering them right now. Dude, that's meat for a month. A green humphead parrotfish? Come on. The most important, uh, most important thing that we could grab. All right, send it. Ooh, you, you don't want to, you don't want to get caught, huh? But look, we, we need, we need better harpooning capability. I'm not going to say better pooning. That, that seems like a, a mistake that I'll, I'll regret in the future. Uh, oops, I already said it. Ooh, I missed. <laughs> Come on, send it. I'm, I'm actually, dude, I've, I've never been worse at any mini game in my life. If you exceed your weight limit, you'll slow down. If you exceed an even higher amount, you won't be able to care. Okay, I'm I'm way down, man. Which is not good. Okay, that's not good. But I can left shift to... Oh, what the frick? I'm dying to uh, fish. Okay. We can at least use our, our scooter to get out of here. But I want to just say that I'm dying. Oh, there's a yellow starfish right there, man. Ah! Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna leave. I'm I'm just gonna leave. We we could have gotten more things. I'm kind of disappointed in myself, but I still think that was pretty good. I'm I'm happy with it. I only caught nine fish. Ten was my best. We did spend a lot of time on the green humphead parrot fish. All things considered, this sucker only gives me five meat. Really? He's like the size of all of the other fish we caught. Dave, did you loosen up yesterday? Saw a lot of nasty fish. Won't be easy to go deeper. Did notice the fish in the blue hole got a violent streak. Perhaps something puts them on edge. Why don't you take a gun in addition to the harpoon? I have a friend who's knowledgeable about guns. Am I losing my mind in that guns don't fire easily underwater? Cobra, it's been a while. Who's the goofy looking guy next to you? Sorry, wasn't the nicest thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. Thought divers were athletic and muscular. People who live in a glass house. Wow. Okay, I'd like you to get to the point. Begun a very interesting business. I'm in need of some weapons. Dude, Duff is actually just... Uh, there's no there's no real easy way for me to say it. Season 2 of Strasstella just ended. D just fascinating giant blue hole. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I'd like you to make us a weapon. Piqued my interest as a weapon researcher. <laughs> Okay, anything that's not made from materials found in the blue hole will break down. Especially true of guns. We'll have to get the materials from the sea. Since you have no guns at all, let's start with something easy. One rope and one scrap iron. Enter the blue hole, bring back rope and scrap iron. If you run out of oxygen midway, you'll only be able to make it back with one item. Okay, interesting. That's very interesting. So we're looking for another red starfish, to be fair. And this is definitely, so they said that we can uh, dive once in the morning, once in the afternoon, right? So now we're in our afternoon dive, which is still very important for us. Like, it is good to be here. I'm going to try to dive down. Yeah, there's our blue starfish immediately. Right, let's snag you. And then I'm, I'm looking for some, some scrap iron, for sure. I mean, wood is still valuable. I'm, I'm not going to complain about a little... A little wood. Can I can I kill? Oh, I don't I don't think this jellyfish likes this man. But it's gonna be a pretty lit uh, meal option to provide people with jellyfish as a, a valid. Let's just say I have never I've consumed some sushi in my day. I have never consumed jellyfish sushi. So it it might be getting kind of lit up in here tonight at at Bancho Sushi. I feel like Bancho is probably going to end up having like a, an FDA uh, situation going on where they they no longer what's going on here no longer want us to exist as a food joint. But cheap Japanese sword, okay, that seems like a, a fantastic thing to have. There's some rope, very exciting. Ooh, get get absolutely sliced. You love to see it. Some more rope. You love to see it. Dude, we got all kinds of stuff going on right now. Refill the, the oxygen real quick. Is that, that eel... Is it possible for me to give you a little smack? You know what? I'm going to prefer we, we didn't. Oh, you got me. <laughs> okay. Do, do I have health? <laughs> like, is this... 
Every once in a while, I just get absolutely rammed by a fish, and then that's the end of that, right? Got some wood. Got a little something in here. Ooh, a little oxygen capsule. Okay. You know what? I'd, I'd like to, to use it right now. Get that going real quick. Ooh, I tried to just give you a little a little smack. Ooh, you don't like that? Fair enough. How about you get sliced? <laughs> Don't don't use any oxygen. Don't go don't go down either. Okay, give me this guy though. You're you're a you're a problem for me. We're looking for scrap iron, man. Was that scrap iron? I didn't even see. It is scrap iron. Get sliced, please. Okay, we got another another crate here. We got some more uh, more starfish. I am getting close to my my limit that I can hold right now. The underwater scooter. Yeah, that sounds fantastic for me. Give me all, all the wood that we can carry. We can get some of these on the menu if we can. Or we can try to get... I'm, I'm bad. I'm, never mind, I'm great. The Titan Triggerfish. Alright, we are massively weighed down right now. So here here's what I'm thinking. Alright, here's what I'm thinking. Since I'm way over... I have everything that I need, though. So let's try to snag some more fish all right just kidding that did not go well grab grab this guy we're, we're basically just launching him against a rock no get back here brother all right things are things are fine i would love to kill another one of you actually send it and send it again my guy is having a rough time i was not prepared for that i'm gonna tell you i'm prepared for it now Ooh, he's the button masher of the greatest variety. Send it. I was not prepared for that button mashing. Oh, frick me. Okay. We are very, very heavy, but I have this escape pod right here. So that went straight through, man. Okay. This this guy is bleeding and having a rough time. We, we should be able to, to snag him. Okay. I, I physically cannot hold anymore. Please put me in the escape pod. Use the escape pod to escape to your boat as quickly as possible. Check your surroundings first as the calling process takes time. Okay. I'm I'm ready. Warning, running out of air. Oh, it's fine. Oh, that, that takes freaking nothing, man. That takes nothing. Depressurization completed. He's, he's the greatest to ever do it. All right. That went fine. Hello, Ellie. You actually brought them back. I guess I expected too little. This should do for now. I'll give you a reward as promised. Okay. Add my number. Ooh, some olive oil not from the sea. Some soy sauce not from the sea. Okay. And we got duff all figured out here. I'm kind of cracked, to be honest. Seems I underestimated you slightly. Basic underwater rifle. Okay. Download duff's weapon shop on your phone. Well optimized, only 42 megabytes. <laughs> okay. The weapon shop app. Something you'll never see on the uh, Apple Store ever. Basic underwater rifle. Can be fired underwater, old model, not that powerful. Okay. Let, let's craft you. Oh, dude, Duff, Duff's an animal, you can tell. He's crazy. He's kind of a freak, but I'm, I'm with it. It's, it's like he's making Frankenstein's monster right now, man. That was the greatest art I've ever seen in my life. Okay, basic underwater rifle. Equip it right away. I'd love to. With a neat explanation like that, even someone like you should have understood. One more thing. I've taken some measures to allow you to open weapon chests underwater. Can't bring them out of the sea, but they still come in handy. I'm not going to ask about the implications of how this guy just tossed like, giant crates full of weapons down into the water, but that's fine. Pick up some blueprints. Master will be watching you. Goodbye, eternity. What a weirdo, man. What an absolute weirdo. Um, we've got all kinds of stuff, though. You can craft weapons at Duff's Weapon Shop. Okay, we'll complete a blueprint. Very good. I collected 100 gold. Should be enough to repair what's broken. Okay. Dude, we're, we're doing everything. We, we got it all figured out. Not our best uh, in terms of fish, but a pretty good in terms of obtained items. Okay, a lot of cooking ingredients. The barrel jellyfish provide us with very little meat. Okay, um, things are things are doing good. Wrap up your day, get ready at Bancho Sushi. I'm I'm ready. Ellie's been added as a contact. That's very exciting. I like the ecological mission. That that I could get used to. 
Okay, open Bancho Sushi. I would prefer not to. I'd like to add some things to the menu. We're, we're looking at... Oh, we can enhance. Can be enhanced. Ingredients used for enhancement will disappear. I don't know what ingredients we can enhance, to be fair. But I think that Blue Tang Sushi is always going to be a part of our, our mission. So you know what? I'd like to enhance it. Look at this, man. <laughs> Oh, Bancho's preparing, dude. I wouldn't t Oh, he is. Uh, he had a rag in his hand. I thought he was just rubbing his hand against the blade. I was concerned. Oh my god, dude. This is so messed up. That was so sad. Alright, enhance has been completed on Blue Tang Sushi. Very good. I'd like to enhance... I mean, dude, to be honest with you, the jellyfish... Probably a decent chance we're going to get some more of those in the future. I mean, I'm just going to enhance everything, right? I don't think there's any reason not to enhance it. I can enhance this again. Okay, so we're definitely adding this to the menu. And then some blue tang. Now, I'm, I'm starting to realize that I probably should not... Holy frick, this sells for 20? <laughs> okay. I'm now realizing that the blue tang is... Uh, Maybe not the most uh, necessary thing, since it sells for so cheap and everybody's going to choose that instead. But it'll be fine, okay? It'll be fine. Also, check our, our ingredients real quick. Soy sauce. Okay, sure. I Look, I don't fully understand that menu yet, but they'll... they'll we'll get there when we get there, okay? It'll be fine. This is our, our tea over here, I believe. That's fine. We'll, we'll get that figured out when the time comes. What are you looking at, man? You're checking the menu. And you decide, oh, I'd like that. Okay. Very good. I'm ready to pour tea whenever whenever y'all are, are ready for me to pour tea. But first, I, I will deliver you your sushi. This place seems different. Look, brother. At Dinklo, we got it all figured out here. All right? At Dinklo, you can expect premium sushi at a low low price of all of your money okay i'd like to come over here and pour you some tea i'm gonna get really good at timing this though it's perfect the the greatest gamer okay run on back dave you gotta you gotta deliver people their sushi okay beautiful the best service you could ever imagine. Wow, this is so good. Bond, look, Boncho knows how to how to make stuff, man. If there's one thing that I will say, Boncho, Boncho has it figured out. They gave me a tip, man. Don't eat the yellow snow. Okay, clean. You need some tea? You know what? I'll I'll happily do it real quick. A flawless amount. Actually perfect though. I mean, actually the most brilliant amount you've ever seen. Okay, very good. Only one thing left on the menu, so you better order it. I'm looking at my menu on the back wall right here. Oh, dude, she was freaking in love. We made so much cash. We got 142 money. Close for the day. Dude, he's he's insane. Yellowback few few still still don't know how to pronounce that to be honest with you, but that's that's quite all right. Um, we're we're cruising right now, and not on a boat. We're just cruising in general. Welcome to Monday, another sunny day, uh, and a beautiful time for us to end the episode after we figure out who Farmer Ted is here. Are you Dave by any chance? Dr. Bacon. What is this, sir? I'm always right about these things. Nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Bacon. Archaeologist who studies the Sea People civilization? Excuse me? I'll explain it to you. Aren't you lucky to have an expert to tell me? Like, okay, sure. What what in the world is this? The Sea People civilization lives in legends. Said to have occupied this region. They worshipped fish and had gills, allowing them to live underwater. Okay. Sure. Sudden changes to the sea bottom brought about their uh, downfall. So sad, dude. That's all there is to the story? Everyone thinks there's a myth? But the proof is they were real and were found right in the vicinity of this place. An amazing find could turn the whole academic world upside down. Okay. What makes you so sure they were real? Found an artifact. Ooh. What business do you have with me? Uh, Dave, put your thinking cap on. You're gonna bring back artifacts. My assistant's cryptocurrency investments didn't pan out? Oh no. D Dave coin failed. 
That's why I'd like you to help me. Assistant told me the artifact was found 70 meters or so below. Okay, we're busy with the sushi bar. Dave, shut up. We're gonna do it. I'm Cobra. I work with Dave. Of course, we'll help you. Think about it. If an underwater civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here, and Bancho Sushi will be bursting at the seams. All right. I won't be asking you to work for free. I'll upgrade the diving suit. Yo, venture deeper. Let's go. Explain the download the iDiver app on your phone. Okay. Fantastic. Ah, allows you to enhance various diving equipment. Let's go. Let me let me show you how to use iDiver. Unlock your phone first. Okay. iDiver installed. Run it, please. And now I can upgrade for free. Depth limit 80 meters. Get upgraded. Okay. You'll be able to venture deeper. Once you have enough money, use iDiver to enhance your equipment. Okay? I think that cargo box is something that I should just do, like, immediately for what it's worth. Traces of the Sea People, Chapter 1. We made it out of the prologue, ladies and gentlemen. The greatest gamer of all time. And the weapon shop. Look, I can make myself a rifle. Yeah, we can skip your animation, my friend. But I'm, I'm ready. And then we go back into here. And I'm going to get a cargo box. Bring in more fish. you love to see it. I don't necessarily know if I need money for anything. So I'm going to chill for right now. Um, get a 10% discount and get going. Okay. Do you want to be rich? Click now. That seems like a terrible idea. Uh, don't fall for fishing scams, ladies and gentlemen. All right. I'm, I'm good with this. Don't, don't need to call anybody. I mean, I suppose I could call. What if we called Ellie? I'm at the library, calling me so sudden, where are your manners? Oh, frick. <laughs> Here I was, thinking that we could just get another another task from her. But that's fine. Okay, um, dude, works for me. That's gonna do it for this episode of Dave the Diver. Thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed. As always, like on the video, much appreciated. I will see you in the next one. That will probably come tomorrow, if I had the bet. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!